Hey, what's up guys? Tech with Dave. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, download and install Checkpoint, followed by how to backup, restore your game save files. And then at the end of it, the video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I actually use it to my benefit for uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, there's different programs out there for different types of games, but I personally use it for Pokemon. So uh, it is a super easy application to use. Uh, anybody can use it, but since Checkpoint is a homebrew application, you will require custom firmware. But before you go anywhere, I know you, you want to go. You're like, maybe I don't have a homebrew, you know? How did I uh, stumble upon this video? Uh, I'm going to be leaving a link to the guide I use down in the description below. Uh, you can probably like overview it, maybe see if it's even for you. Maybe you've been wanting to get on homebrew, okay? So done properly, you should already have or will have checkpoint, but in any case, you didn't use the method I provided, you use somebody else's method. I'll briefly show you how to download and install it properly or simply just download uh, the latest version if you haven't updated, okay? So you're gonna need three things. Nintendo Switch, SD card reader, about that one at Best Buy, and a PC or a laptop or uh, just something to transfer files back and forth. Nothing too crazy. Nothing you don't need. Nothing gamer laptop or whatever you know. So let's get into it. Let me get out of your guys' way and start the video. Okay, so let's start the video by downloading and installing Checkpoint. I'm gonna leave a link to this web page down below, as with everything else. Uh, as of today, January 16, 2021, the latest version is 3.74, but we have the rest of the versions here for whatever reason. So let's go ahead and click on the first one. Scroll down a bit. We're going to be downloading the checkpoint.nro. The rest of them are going to be for the Nintendo 3DS, but like I said, we only need the checkpoint.nro. Click on that. That's going to give you a download prompt. I've downloaded it prior, so I already have it here in this folder. Next, what you want to do, you want to open up um, your Nintendo Switch SD card. So on the root of that, um, the root of your SD card, you should have a couple folders. Follow that by opening up the Switch folder. Inside of the Switch folder, you should see most of your programs. Grab the checkpoint.nro, drag it into the Switch folder. It's asking me to replace, as I already have it there. It's gonna uh, update to the latest version, or maybe you're installing it fresh for the first time. So that's really it for the download and installation process. I'm going to see you on the switch side of things and show you how to use the application. Now to find checkpoint, we're going to want to press uh, and hold R and A simultaneously. It's going to prompt us to our user and choose your user. Go forward with that. That should uh, prompt you with the homebrew menu. Let's navigate a little down to the checkpoint. Sorry about that. The checkpoint 3.74. Go ahead and press A. Uh, to navigate this menu, you can press and hold the minus symbol on the controller and that'll give you some uh, configurations. To back up a game, it's real simple. Click on your preferred game. Press the L button. Backup selected save. Yes. Name it as uh, to your preference. Press OK if for some reason you don't want the backup or you got too many backups, you can delete them by pressing X. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to name it CP for checkpoint. Yes, it's that simple, guys. If you guys want to restore a game save, press and hold R. CP has successfully been restored. Super simple. Now, uh, to show you guys how I use it, um, it, it's been backed up. So on the PC side of things, I'm going to show you where to find your backup save. You can save them on your desktop, on your documents, or whatever you want. How many saves? Uh, you can even grab other saves and restore them on your Switch side of things. But I'm gonna show you guys how I use it uh, just briefly. And uh, as far as using the application, it's that simple. Okay, so see you guys over there. Sweet, so now that we've gotten through uh, how to back up your game saves, restore them, delete them, and all that, we can uh, figure out how to find them on your Nintendo Switch SD card. So insert your Nintendo Switch SD card into the PC. We're going to go ahead and uh, open up the switch folder. We're going to open up checkpoint followed by saves. And here you should be able to see all the titles that uh, what you have. So you're going to be able to see them by name. In any case, like say for instance, my Pokemon Shield is just a title ID. It's just a whole bunch of numbers and letters. And you know, for some reason you can't find it. Go ahead and Google the name of your uh, game title. Say for instance, Pokemon Shield and follow that by title ID. So for example, Pokemon Shield title ID. And uh, you should be able to find the title ID and it's going to give you that same bunch of numbers that you see right here. 
I'll go ahead open this up and you'll see CP right here so the way I like to use my uh, game saves for instance uh, I use a program uh, called PK hex and PK hex I use to uh, really just exploit my um, exploit my saves so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna open up my uh, save say saves right here I'm gonna find my title ID and I have my CP folder right here inside that CP folder I got my uh, main right here main is gonna be uh, essentially my backup my, my main file okay so um, I'm gonna use this I'm gonna view this my logic it's uh, legit I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna create a well you know what I'll do it with the Arcanine tools um, generate where is it okay smoke on sets okay that took a while but that's because it downloaded a couple sets for me one two three four five and each one is going to be different so this one's bold this one's jolly this one's adamant and so on and so forth you know it, it got me a couple they're all ev max ivs and but i got more videos that actually go into depth with uh, how to use pk hex and so on and so forth i'm always making them if you guys want to subscribe like my videos and so on and so forth okay so once i have uh exploited my save however i wanted I go ahead export my uh, save, export main, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, overwrite my main. Boom, save exported to switch, and it gives me a path to where it went. I can go ahead, shut everything down, eject. Everything went through. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna see you on the switch side of things, and I'm gonna um, go ahead, restore my game save file, and boom, we're done, okay? Okay, guys, let's finish the video. Uh, hold R, press A to open up the Homebrew app menu. It's going to take us over there. We're going to navigate down to uh, Checkpoint folder. Once you've uh, loaded your file, all you have to really do is go down to the game, go down to your uh, backup, press R, press A. That backup has been successfully restored. You go to your game and you're going to see everything you've done. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Uh, leave a comment for any troubleshooting I be, may be able to help you with and subscribe so I can get more content out to you guys. Also, if you want to support me further, follow my other socials. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.